All right, welcome back to another Python programming tutorial. And today we are going to talk about the data type of an array or a list. Now they aren't exactly the same in Python, and we'll discuss the differences of both here. But it's important that we become familiar with this concept because arrays and lists are arguably one of the most important data types in all of programming, not just for the Python programming language, but for many other programming languages as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. We are going to start with what an array is. So an array is essentially a way to store multiple datum underneath one variable. And oftentimes it's denoted with two, excuse me, with two brackets, just like so. So for example, instead of having, um, you know, your number just be 10, right? You can actually have number contain multiple different integers, right? So I can have 10, 15, 30, 60. And right here, this is your example of an array. It simply is a container for multiple datum, all stored under a single variable name. I know that's kind of a mouthful to think about it, but instead of, just think of it this way, instead of just typing a 10 here, I can type in multiple um, data here. Now, the thing that makes an array different than a set, or um, we'll get to sets in a second, excuse me, a list, is that for an array to be an array, all of these have to be the same data type. That is what makes this specifically an array. So for example, if I had 10.25, this would no longer be considered an array, this would be considered a list. Um, however, the syntax or the implementation for an array and a list are pretty much the same. The only difference is that um, lists can have different datum, meaning it's non-homogeneous, whereas an array is homogeneous. So let's go ahead and look at some examples of an array. Here's one example. Another example of an array could be names, for example, and this could be like customer names. And then here I would have ant and then not ant and then ant the weird you know but as you can see this is an array because each one of these is of a data type string right so if I had a number in here this would no longer be an array right so there's your examples of arrays and now let's go ahead and look at your example of some lists so a list is pretty much the exact same syntactically but you can have um, different datum in there. So let's just say uh, we call this data and we'll put two braces here. You can have, for example, a whole bunch of stuff describing actually let's do customer. So let's have the name be the first column, which is Anthony. Let's have his age be 18, I'm not 18, but we'll pretend I'm 18. Let's have his money be $2,000. Let's have, um, is he alive? True. Is he a member? True. This would be an example of a list. A list is very similar to an array, but you can have multiple different types of data inside the list. And that's what makes it different than an array. So we'll go ahead and do one more example of a list here. Just so we um, get the concept. I'll do a second customer here. And let's call this customer John. Let's say he is 20. Let's say he has $1,000 and he is alive, but he is not a member. So again, different data, non-homogeneous, same data, homogeneous, but all are still a collection of data that is stored underneath one variable name. And that is the whole idea behind an array and a list together. Now, when it comes to arrays, what makes them really nice is you have various operations that you can do that allow you to, you know, get information or query information from these lists and arrays here. So the four main operations that you'll ever really do on a data structure is going to be the CRUD operations, which are create, read, update, and delete. And we are going to look at those right now. So I won't go through all the various uh, operations you can do on a list, but just to show you here, there's a couple. Um, there's append, which allows you to add something to the end of a list or an array, just like so. Excuse me, it should be number. You can append.
append, which will add a number to the end of the list. You can pop a value, which deletes a um, number from here. So if I want to get rid of, for example, the first index, I could do that as well. You can also clear, which deletes the entire thing. You can copy, which creates a copy, obviously. So I could call this like numbers two. Right, you can count. So this will return how many elements are in the array. Um, you can add, you can extend it. It just has to be iterable. We'll talk about what that means later. You can also insert at a specific uh, point in there. We'll talk about cred later as well. You can also uh, insert as well, which will insert at a specific indice. And we will talk later again why you would use one or the other. You can also do remove, which removes uh, from a specific point in the array. But all of these are keywords and are methods that you can perform on arrays to uh, manipulate the data structure. Cool, cool. So that is pretty much just the bare bones basics of an array. There's one last idea that I want to touch on with arrays and lists, and that is the fact that everything is a uh, zero-based counting system. So what does that mean? Whenever you create an array here, or a list, um, there's this idea of an indice. An index or indice is the data's points in the array. So for example, 10 would be the first in, or the zeroth index, then this would be the first index, this would be the second, and this would be the third. And that is a key distinction between other or um, what you may be used to. Normally, you may think that this is one, but that is not the first indice, that is the zeroth indice. And you can go ahead and confirm this here by typing in print here and typing in number and then putting two brackets here. This allows me to query any uh, thing in the array here and I'll just type in zero and it's going to pull the zeroth indice of the number array and which will be 10. Oh, what happened? Um, excuse me. There we go. My mistake here, you need braces to do that, not parentheses. But as you can see here, I'm able to query the numbers here. So if I printed one, I would get this. And this is a very important concept when it comes to both lists and arrays, that this is zero. This is not one, this is the zeroth indice. So it's zero, one, two, three. And just like normal data, you can query this information and perform mathematical operations on it. For example, I can do 15 plus 20, which is 35. I can also update the number one here and go and get the indice one here and set that equal to 30 and then now print that new value. And just like that, you were able to update it and you can do this all with um, lists as well. It works the same. But yep, that's pretty much just the bare bones breakdown of arrays and lists. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I will see you all in the next one.